It's been a great 24 hours. The manager joins me here now at Bellius Town. Brian Duffy, Brian, many congratulations. You trained two much. fillies. Both of them have won in the space of 24 hours your local track in Bellius Town. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. It's, it's, hard to, it's hard to believe it's actually happened, but sure, you dream of these things. It's just delight that it came and you, through. You only took out the licence this summer? This In June there, yeah. So I was always wanting to, and I just bit, bit the bullet and... We said we'd give it a go, so it's lucky that it came through anyway. And two smart fillies, obviously Man 4 won yesterday, and this yeah. filly, of course, is Man 4's half-sister. Both of them are half-sisters, it's jet-setting, and one of an Irish Guineas, of course, for Edrin Keatley a couple yeah, of years ago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we had the mare, and lucky enough, we were blessed together, really, at the beginning, but we bred a few fillies over, and she was the last one over, so we brought her to the sales of the yearling, and we, we, um, we brought her back, and anyway. she didn't make what we wanted, so we said we'd, we'd try, try her... Try her best at this so it's just unbelievable it came through now. and she was very eye catching on her debut run at Punchestown two weeks ago you can see by the size of the filly why we haven't seen her until the back end of her three year old career yeah. because she's just a big filly isn't yeah she? she's very big she's a completely different model to the other ones by Fast Company Jet Set was handy now and Man 4 wouldn't be much bigger but she's nearly 16-3 this filly she just took an awful long time to come to herself and we gave her as much time as she needed and thank god she repaid us anyway and she had a lovely run in Punchestown and she was She's green enough in Punchestown, even. She's very genuine, and she still seemed a bit green there now, but uh, thank God she did the, jo- did the job anyway. I'd say there's plenty more to come from her, because again, like Punchestown, it took her a while for the penny to drop. Wait, yeah. Were you worried about dropping back in trip here today? Well, David Bean, who was riding her work, said there'd be no problem dropping back. I was a bit surprised. Being a Harrison, I thought she'd really want a mile and a half, like most of them, but she has plenty of pace. and So we were, we were hopeful coming here that she'd... The only thing is handling the track being so big, but she seemed to get through it and get the job done. And when Shamie's got her into a good run at the furlong pole, it always looked likely then that she was going to go and pick up. Yeah, yeah, she just grinded them down. The same as the filly yesterday, she just kept kept coming for the run up the hill, so it was brilliant. Brian, what's next on the agenda with her? Um, we'll probably look at maybe the Garnet Stakes if it didn't come up too too quick for her. We'll go back and have a think about it anyway. And see how it goes. And would you like to hold on to her? Is she will there be a for sale sign on her? Oh, sure, it all depends, doesn't it? It's like <laughs> Bruce, he says that the price is right, but sure. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? I, I... And Brian, tell us a little bit about yourself. Obviously, we all know your dad, Frank Duffy, of course. Yeah. He's been racing all his life since we were kids. We remember Frank and Michael Cunningham's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been around the whole time, I'm sure. It wouldn't be happening without him, so yeah, yeah. It's, it's great. And, and you worked in the, on the stud side of yeah, things? Yeah, mostly for many years. on the stud farm side, and um, spent a lot of time around Kildare and Dangan and Darnstown and Moy and did a bit of that and did a stint with John Sargent out in uh, New Zealand as a pupil assistant for a couple of months in the winter and that was great but I, and I know it's from my old lad and my uncle Sean God bless him they taught, taught me as much as I know anyway it might be much but And when did you decide that you wanted a, when did the training idea come on, on stream? I, I always had it in the back of my head for a good few years but sure it's hard to, it's hard to get it all together and get going but sure we said we'd bite the bullet and give it a go so that's it. Well, it's proved a justified decision. You've yeah. got only two. These are the only two you have. Two. I, I have a third one, but she's returned out. She got. Uh, she ran in Roscommon there about six weeks ago and got got an injury. So three. But we have two in training. So really couldn't be off to a better start. No, two hours great. of training. You both of them one in twenty four hours. Yeah, yeah, it's great. And is it something you'd like them. to expand going forward? Ah, uh, not really. No, well, not for the meantime. Anyway, we were just happy ticking around with our own ones and see how it goes. You and know. you don't train too far away from here. You're in trim, no, aren't we're you? in trim. It's only about half an hour away. So. So it's brilliant, yeah, and it's great to have a winner on a day like today and a great cause and the whole lot, so it's brilliant. Absolutely great fantastic. Well, Brian, thanks for having a chat with us. You've won with a smart filly, and it's a great start to your training career. Yeah. Two winners in the space of 24 hours. That's well done. Great. Thanks very much, Kevin. Appreciate it. Thank you.